Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for another weekly episode of Q&A with Gary. In case you didn't know that, that's me. This is where I answer all your cooking outdoors questions, whether it's grilling, barbecue, Dutch oven cooking, or any kind of cooking. Let's just open it wide open. Open it wide open. That's good. This is from Random Acts of Cooking in regards to my Alabama white barbecue sauce. And he says, hey Gary, glad to see you cooking again. Thank you. I'll have to give this white sauce a try. Could you lower the vinegar taste a little by putting in a touch of honey? Just wondering. Well, yeah, absolutely. You could back off on the vinegar. You could probably even use apple juice, which would serve two purposes, giving you the uh, liquid that is required in there and a little bit more sugar. You would lose that Alabama tang, twang, that is very common with this, uh, or very uh, pronounced with this sauce. But give it a try. I think it would be just fine. And after all, you can take any sauce, and I encourage you to do so, and alter it to your own personal liking. Just because something is done one way does not mean that's the only way it should be done. Just saying. And Cynthia W. asked me, and this is in regards to cast iron uh, Dutch oven reseasoning and restoration techniques videos I did a few weeks back or a few years back. It says, uh, I have a self cleaning oven, but the self cleaning doesn't work. How do I use my convection oven to Dutch oven and what temperature do I put the oven on and for how long? So, what she's basically ask, asking is, can she reseason or strip a cast iron? pot or pan in a convection oven. I would think so. I've never done it. So I'm only uh, sharing this based on assumptions that I'm going to make because a convection oven, what it does is it basically heats the same way, but it has a fan and that circulates the air in the oven, allowing things to cook more evenly and sometimes quicker. So if you can get your, uh, get your oven up to six, seven, 800 degrees, then crank it all the way up, put your Dutch oven in there or your cast iron skillet in there and give it a try. It should strip it off just fine. It takes about an hour to do it properly. I can't think of any reasons why it wouldn't. If anybody knows or if anybody's done it this way, please let me know in the comments be below. I'd like to hear uh, some specifics from somebody who's done it this way. So Lumberjack PA uh, and is asking me about ribs and he says excellent work Gary I have a question for you when and if you do pork ribs do you pull or score the membrane uh, I found that pulling the membrane makes it more desirable to eat what say you thanks for sharing well I agree I always pull the membrane a lot of people just score the membrane and there's some that just leave it on I think it adds an unsavory element to the ribs. My own personal taste and my own personal preferences. Now I've been to many restaurants where they leave the membrane on because it takes a lot of time to pull the membrane off. I think that by pulling it off, you're able to get the seasoning and the smoke to come in from both sides of the ribs, giving a little bit more uniform and even cook and taste. Okay, Gary L. asked me, and this is again on my cast iron uh, reseasoning video. What do you advise in removing excess vegetable oil seasoning from my Dutch oven? I properly cleaned and dried it, but then over oiled with the wrong product, then baked it on. The result is a thick brown glaze. This is not uncommon. Uh, I find that when I use products like uh, olive oil or vegetable, not olive oil, but well, yeah, olive oil, vegetable oil and stuff, it's easy to overcoat your Dutch oven, and it gives a sticky buildup on there. Now, there's a couple things to do. Um, first off, what I would do is I would take some coarse salt, some sea salt, something like that, and not rock salt, but coarse salt, and just take and scour the surface with that all around, inside, outside, see if that removes it. More than likely, it's gonna knock off a bunch of that. Now, that's probably going to be just fine for the outside surface. Now, the inside, you're going to probably want to do a little bit more work. What I would do is I'd fill it up with water and add about, you know, maybe a cup of vinegar or so in there. Just plain old white vinegar or apple cider vinegar. 
and then just boil that, just like you're gonna cure it for rancicity. Is that a word? You're gonna cure it as if it was rancid. The same thing is gonna help remove some of that oil buildup on there, and that's what you wanna do. Now, that's it for this week. I hope you're enjoying this. I'm getting a big kick out of it. I love your comments that I'm getting from everybody below, but I also want your questions. You can leave that in the YouTube comment section. If you have a question about grilling, Dutch oven cooking, barbecue, fire pit cooking, camp cooking, 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 period cooking, then uh, leave a question below and I will give you the best damn answer that I can come up with. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be pretty accurate. But if you have a different opinion, I always wanna hear that and I value it very, very much. That's it for now. I will talk to you again 